the Glock G48. Let's check it out. Guys, when I heard that Glock was introducing the G48, I had no idea what to expect. And I went up to Wheaton Arms, who does all my gun transfers, to pick it up. And uh, Robbie was real slow getting the box open because he knew I was pretty excited to see what they came up with. Uh, this is a single stack 9mm, very similar to the G43X, but with a longer slide, which gives it a better sight radius. It's actually about the same profile as your Model 19, but yet single stack and very thin. When I first opened the box of the G48, I had to ask the question, why? Uh, and why have a single stack, full size, uh, 10 in one magazine pistol for a Glock? I mean, what is the real purpose behind it? Yes, it has a longer sight radius than your compact version. And here comes the G43X. Uh, same pistols, and uh, we'll look a little bit more at this in a minute, but the big difference is it's just a little bit longer slide. But why go that way when you have a pretty much a full-size pistol? In fact, this is the exact same profile as your Model 19. I mean in every silhouette dimension. Now, one of the big things, though, is that it is considerably thinner than the G19. And so this will make it easier to carry, which I've carried the G19 over the years quite a bit. Uh, it's not very difficult, but here we have about, you know, two thirds the size of the G19. But guys, the real story here to me, uh, and really to me, one of the biggest pluses for this handgun is that if you live in a state that has magazine restrictions to 10 rounds, you can carry a full size pistol that is fully efficient for 10 rounds instead of putting a 10 round magazine in your Glock 19. You've got a much larger gun and really there's no other advantage uh, because really the G48 shoots about the same as your G19 and really because the grip is so much thinner uh, you can get a really solid grip on the pistol. So to me that is one of the best features of this pistol. And so for you guys in those states, to me, this is an excellent option, but it is also a easily concealable handgun, but, and it does have a long sight radius. And that's gonna really help to be able to track that front sight faster. It's gonna give you a little more uh, slide to frame ratio. It gives you a little more balance, to be honest with you, uh, than some of the compacts. And so it's really kind of a different animal. And, you know, a lot of guys carry 1911s, and this is about the same size, maybe just a little smaller than your 1911, but it's super thin, clean lines, clean edges. And again, bringing in the G43X, uh, we have a pistol that is identical, except that it has just a little bit of a shorter slide. Uh, just a, not even quite an inch, but it does make a difference. But here's the thing, guys. The biggest, hardest part to conceal is the grip. So slide length is not really that big deal. So if you're carrying the G43, you're already having to cover for this longer grip. It's better actually, uh, in a lot of cases, to carry with a little bit of a longer slide. You're gonna be able to be much more accurate um, and be able to, especially if you're taking uh, second, third follow-up shots, again, able to track those sights. So to me, that is one of the big advantages of the G48. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure the gun is unloaded, drop the magazine, check the chamber. We have a 10 round magazine, and we have another 10 round magazine. These are in the Gen 5 configuration with the lip, with the orange followers, and uh, these are just excellent. 
Now we have the G43, which has a six round magazine. We're gonna go ahead and drop the magazine and check to make sure the gun is empty. Uh, the magazine is a six round magazine and we have a 10 round magazine here. When we put it up, we can see that the new magazines for the G48 and G43X, it's thicker. And, but yet, it's not really that much shorter. Uh, we've got about three quarters of an inch and you have four extra rounds. So to me, that is a real big advantage. Uh, this is not interchangeable with the Glock 43, uh, but it is interchangeable with the Glock 43X. And so we can just take and drop our magazines in here. It's actually a whole nother series of pistols because this is a new magazine for Glock. Now, it's not interchangeable, it is thicker. So you're not gonna have the interchangeability with the Glock 43, but we are getting uh, an increase in mag capacity. And guys, honestly, as far as between the differences of these two, that is it. I mean, the slide thicknesses, everything. In fact, the G43X slide will fit right onto this frame and vice versa. They're the same frame. If you wanna go deep carry, you've got the G43. You know, if you wanna add a little bit of mag capacity, of course, the G43X. And then if you want just the full advantage of a full-size handgun, then you have the G48. So in essence, what we have is a subcompact single stack, we have a compact single stack, and then we have the full size. And so that just gives us a lot more options. Now I have done a full review on the G43X, and so we're gonna be taking a little bit closer look at that. If you wanna see it, I'll have it annotated right here above. But the main thing we're gonna do is focus on the G48. Uh, and because, you know, it's a separate gun, even though there's a lot of similarities, and sometimes guys later on down the road are gonna say, what is the G48? And they can come to this video and see it just as a standalone video. The barrel length is 4.17 inches in length. It is hexagonal. And so if you're gonna shoot reloads in here, it can build up or the lead can build up in the grooves. And so you just wanna be careful it can have dangerous pressures. So Glock recommends never to do that in any of the Glock pistols. The G43X barrel is 3.47 inches. So we have about a three quarter inch difference in barrel length and slide. But yet you can see the frame comes to right here and then we have this uh, relief cut right here, just like on the G34, which comes out. And so uh, it actually accommodates back here, the recoil spring, because you can see uh, it's actually hollow through here. It's 7.28 inches in overall length. It's 5.04 inches in height and it's 1.0 in width. And that is because of the controls and everything. As far as the slide goes, it's 0.87 inches. So it's a very thin, narrow slide. The slide is actually the exact same width of your Model 43 and also the Model 43X. Weight on the G48, one pound, 4.6 ounces. Weight on the G19, Gen 5, one pound, 8.2 ounces. Weight on the G43X, one pound, 2.6 ounces. It does have the standard polymer Glock sights. I'm sure that there will be night sight options as well. And of course, you can get different sights to put on your pistols. I mean, Glock is prolific in aftermarket support. Uh, the frame, of course, is very well done, is typical for Glock. Uh, they do have the pyramid shapes here. They are a little more subdued. In fact, on the G19, they're more pronounced. So I think for carry, they've kind of made this a little less aggressive than your typical Gen 5. And uh, it, you definitely can feel it. So that's just one thing to note. Of course, you have your mag release right here. It drops the mag out. Uh, we have our slide stop right here, and it comes forward, very minimal. Um, you know, your takedown levers, and we'll look at that when we break down the pistol. Uh, but one of the things that I like about the frame is that it is really thin and narrow. Now, it's about a millimeter thicker than your standard G43. Here, we'll just bring the G43 in. It does have the talon grip, so you can't tell it quite as much, but it gives it just a little bit less thickness, and of course, thus, you're not able to put these mags into the G43. I like the nice high-ride beaver tail. It just helps you to get a really high grip, low bore axis, this gun just shoots really well. Make sure the gun is unloaded. We're gonna check the trigger pull action. Of course, it is Glock. You have your blade safety right here. And in fact, you can't actuate the trigger unless you get a full finger on that trigger. And so here we have some take up. 
and then we have some resistance right here and then the brake uh, this is improved somewhat over the original Glock triggers, but it's still, you know, it's pretty mushy. Uh, we're going to go ahead and check for reset right there. has a squared off trigger guard. Uh, you know, it's just rounded. There's no place for lasers or lights. There's a bevel right here around the slide, and the frame is beveled. So that, that is an upgrade from the original Gen 4 down. The magazine release can be switched to the other side. It's fairly easy to do. Now, while the G48 doesn't really directly compare to the G43, uh, one thing I will show you on the frame is that there is a, a raised area right here on both sides of the G43. And then it kind of drops down. Here on the G48 and the G43X is that it has just a little bit of a rise that carries all the way down through. So there's not a lot of difference. Also, there is a small little thumb or finger rest right here on the grip. But otherwise, it's a really straight wall, pretty much. Let's check our trigger pull weight with our Lyman trigger gauge from Brownells. 5 pounds, 3.5 ounces. 4 pounds, 15.4 ounces. 5 pounds, 6.7 ounces. Your G48 magazines will fit with the Lula, and so are the Mag Lula makes it really easy to be able to load. I want to thank Fiocchi for sponsoring the ammo and uh, all made right here in the USA. Good quality ammunition 115 grain full metal jacket. Now, went down to the range, uh, we shot about 500 rounds through the G48, and uh, no malfunctions whatsoever. It was typical Glock reliability. Uh, the 10 round magazines go fast, and uh, you know, if you're used to shooting, you know, your double stack magazines, uh, it, you're doing a lot of reloading, but it was worth it. Um, I'll tell you what, this little bit of a longer frame makes a big difference when shooting compared to the G43, which is a single stack. But then you add that longer slide. It gives you a much better sight radius. It's longer, it's easier to track the front sight. It's just very balanced. I'll just put it that way. Uh, and then it has, of course, those front cocking serrations, which Glock is now adding, and to me is a big plus for press checks especially. Uh, and then the PVD finish on here is really nice, impregnated into the metal. It's not a Cerakote, and so I really like that as well. Uh, it's going to just hold up very well. The balance, the shootability, and uh, yet being single stack. So it's thin and you can really wrap your hand around it. Now Glock's known for its erratic ejection. I mean, I've been hit in the top of the head uh, with rounds a number of times, but with the G48 and the G43X, the ejection pattern was excellent. It was a very positive ejection out to the right side. Now we're going to disassemble the pistol, drop our magazine, check to make sure the gun is unloaded, pull the trigger, pull back about an eighth of an inch on your slide, and then pull down these two takedown pins on either side of the frame, and the slide comes right off. I'm going to remove our recoil spring and guide rod. It is captive. It's a dual recoil spring, and there is a polymer core in here. Then we have our barrel, bring it out, and the slide. So all you need to do to field strip. And guys, if you've ever seen Glocks, this is just definitely a Glock striker fire system. Of course, the frame, and this is exactly pretty much like your G43. Uh, all the internals, I really closely examined it. I could see no difference whatsoever. But there is some thickness difference here in the grip. For reassembly, just drop in your barrel, recoil spring and guide rod, and we're going to bring it back over our frame. It's all good to go. You're ready for the range. Again, as far as the Glock 43X and the Glock 48, honestly, they are the same. Frames are exactly the same. Everything except it's just a little longer. And that is the only difference between these two. But yet, there are two different philosophies with these handguns. Do you like the advantage of the longer sight radius, more balance? Um, you know, easier to get second and third shots, or if you want it even more ultra uh, carry friendly, 
uh, you know, even though really the, the grip is what you're hiding, sometimes the slide can dig, especially if you're carrying appendix carry. So that is a consideration. But to me, one of the biggest things about these two pistols is magazine restricted states where you can only have 10 rounds. These both make excellent candidates. They're very efficient using the 10 rounds in these pistols. And again, it's much better than taking your G19 or whatever pistol and putting a 10 round magazine in here. It's just wasted space. Now at this time, Glock has not released the price on the G48 or the G43X. So hopefully coming up, we'll be getting some prices on those. Now I wanna thank Glock for sending the G48 uh, for the review and uh, they were kind enough to get this ahead of time before the release of January 2nd. And so uh, I've had a, quite a bit of time to play with it and we have put a lot of rounds through it. And I'll tell you what, we're gonna be putting a lot more rounds through this pistol. And uh, we'll probably do a comparison with the G19 uh, just because of the size and maybe go ahead and get the uh, G43X and G43 out a lot of possibilities. One of the things about Glock lately is they've really been putting out a lot of different models. And while some people say, you know, that there's not a lot of changes, there's a ton of changes that go on in this pistol. And, uh, and then of course, with some of the different color configurations and then the front cocking serrations uh, and, you know, just things they're doing to the frame. Uh, but guys, let's keep Glock Glock. And I think that's what Glock's done and yet put a lot of upgrades in the new models. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. Had a little drop up in the box okay. and took his time. Made it, he took it. <laughs> Crap, what am I doing? With a single stack, 10 mil, 10 millimeter. No, it's nine millimeter, you doofus. Now we're gonna disassemble the, vi now we're gonna disassemble the, vi okay. For reassembly, just drop in your barrel. Reassembly, drop in your barrel. 